what's going on uh people i guess i don't know welcome back uh well not welcome back but welcome to the 337 mud mafia now can't tell you what uh kind of place i live in but it's 337 you don't know that but this is the 337 mud mafia this is the lawn mortis the first video ever being made and uh yeah this is a um, a mud mower here and uh, i just got running today again uh, for the second time in a long time now we put some big tires on it these are some uh itp itp mud lights i'm pretty sure see so they're 25s all on both sides i know one side is backwards we're gonna fix that don't worry about that uh it, they don't air up but i did make some specialty bead locks uh aka self-tapping screws and um i'm gonna show you what's all done to this thing here today uh for the first video ever but i'm gonna show you around the compound i do have another channel but you guys do not know what that is so stay tuned to uh to see this and uh in its glory working in a pond hopefully be its first maiden voyage soon and uh yeah i would like to get it in a pond very soon but it isn't right now this past week we did have a freeze so probably all the water can be frozen it's not frozen but like for like freezing so here's we're gonna show you around the compound before we show you the mud motor in action so this here is my 1999 Honda, Honda 300. I know the battery that was used for, that is used for this, is for one more round. But we do got another one in the shed. Now, this is the 1999 300. I have not taken this bike to I mean, it has been before because of my friend. He had this before and I should be the same person with the pond. He's had it up to about here, so we rode the snorkel. And that was the robot there, but that's not necessarily uh, what's gonna happen. If I have to go in water, I'll go in water. If I gotta go that deep, I'll go that deep. I'm not gonna use it, I'm gonna use it to my advantage if I have to. It's there in case, because the stock Honda 300s, it, you can go to about there. That's about as deep as you can go with a stock snorkel. So, you, yeah, you, you would sink the bike. But, uh, we added some night lights, uh, rock lights underneath it. It has four on each side. We got a rocker switch uh, here for it, even though it, you can run it by an app. They're waterproof, and they are the cheapest. Not cheapest, but, like, they're around the $46 range. So, they're pretty good lights. Uh, I like night light. I always love Nightlight brand. Uh, they seem to be to work well in the water. Now, I do have a Nightlight cube lights. Now, it's not the other, like the ones made for the 300. I do want to get those eventually. So now I uh, have cut into the wiring harness here for these night lights, and they are bright. They shine all the way over here. I will throw the clip up, but they shine all the way up to that building. So, this is a Troy built mud mower. It was a, a camp lawnmower, which really didn't, it had been blades, it always had been blades, and we just, it was too low power for our camp, or dear lease. So it has the, okay, that one's not stock. Actually, the other one popped. Oh, that one's on backwards too, I didn't know that. It's race legs. Anyway, okay. Uh, you don't need front tires, that's why I didn't put the... I do have tires for the front, but they might rub. I mean, they would be closer in uh, to this fender. But otherwise, it is actually pretty good. Um, I think I'm going to keep these for now. Uh, it has... I'm not sure how tall this snorkel is. But it comes all the way from down here. I'm going to show you the run, around, uh, run down. It's silicone and PVC cemented, so... I don't think it's leaking. And we, we did put silicone on every hole that was on this intake. We did around there a little bit. And we did uh, all down there where there's supposed to be vent line. Now, my gas tank vent line 
it just ran, just like kind of. I'm not sure this tail. Okay, there it is. It's a uh, basically a hose clamp with a bigger hose, not bigger, and then hose clamp over there and hose clamp the screw, which is tight around the end. So I screwed it in. Then I did that, and then I put some uh, sili uh, silicone around it. And you probably wonder, how's it gonna breathe? Oh, it'll breathe. Trust me. How are you gonna fill your gas if you can't get your snorkel off? Don't worry. I got that. A hole, uh, which fits. I made it perfectly for uh, a special funnel, or maybe even a gas nozzle. I'm probably gonna make it bigger uh, with a step bit uh, and uh, just make it a little bit bigger than this here, uh, just to be able to be able to like fit a gas nozzle in it. Uh, other than that, yes. Yeah. So my throttle, I don't have the factory throttle. I do got the throttle cable deleted. Well, it's not deleted, it's a stuck throttle cable. But I got the governor deleted, uh, well, bypassed, mainly. Just by that, uh, yeah, it's basically just like that. So the governor basically still works, but it's not, like, completely all there. Uh, it's not completely all there. Now, uh, I had an up pipe, which came up, but they had too much carbon monoxide coming in your face. So I went ahead and I put it like this is facing the ground i want it to go out and under but i don't have enough pipe to do that so it's staying like that the headlights they don't work so i'm not worried about headlights but the hood's custom i uh, just custom cut it out i have no breathing area because i'm gonna try I'm, i might take off this fan so but if you're wondering how to get the hood off they got these two bolts down here and over there you just unscrew them and you basically just lift the hood up basically all you do now uh for the tire setup if you want to know how i did the tire setup don't worry about that if you want me to know how i did the tire setup all i did was weld it basically uh my cousin well i didn't weld it i can't weld it. my cousin welded it uh, with his dad's welding machine and he'll probably be in some of the videos uh they got one tag that tag and they got some more on the other side i'm pretty sure yep see he tacked them here oh no those aren't tacked okay i thought he already tacked them but he didn't okay so there's that one this one is backwards i will switch that around but same for uh that side some clean beads all the way around okay see these here he tacked see these he tacked up uh right here in the front and uh no measurement required we did not measure it but like i said these ties do not hold air you see custom custom bead lock yeah they ain't going anywhere uh, so basically what I want to do, I don't want to float. So whenever I go in the water, the water's sticking against the tires. Which that don't bother me because that's what this thing's made for. I don't want it to float. So that's why I did that. And also these tires are so dry rotted, I don't think they're going to, uh, I don't think they're going to air up anyway. But this one, I do need to switch around. And I thought this thing actually wouldn't look, it don't actually look bad. I actually think that that's the same size tires as what was on there at 25 because it actually looks pretty level if you look from like an angle it looks pretty level it does have that kind of squat in the front when you get up to it you tell that the back is kind of higher but everything else is really stock on here uh but i like to add it uh, for i took the deck off uh it's just that and that they're just zip tied so don't worry about it uh, zip tied they ain't going nowhere the belt now um it is kind of eat up so hopefully i don't ever need a new belt but i probably will need to get a new belt uh these pulleys i cannot swap which i could but i'm gonna try to get another pulley that uh, move you guys over here uh, i'm trying to get another pulley to swap to make it kind of faster now this is the third starter, so please, guys, don't get an old one like this. That'll probably burn everything up in about two seconds. So that's an older starter from another lawnmower, an older Bridge and Stratton. So hopefully it uh, stays good. Now, I just got this thing running. And the one thing you do want to do with this style engine is the overhead valve. Uh, probably the little newer models, not too new, but newer. 
is that it, uh, the carburetor's got diaphragms in them, and, uh, when you ever get the water in it, it's basically gonna fry the carburetor. So, I also, older style carburetor, so, do that, the one with the float, not the diaphragms. This is the one with the float. Please do the float. So, this is basically a walk around on how I built my mum mower. I know other people got, um, their set up a different way, but I got mine set up just like this. Alright, so, in editing, I, um, kind of used to tell you, but the ending was too long. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy. I did cut out some scenes that, uh, when I was talking, the video was just too long. It's like, almost 16 something say i don't know so if you guys did enjoy the walk around on the mower leave a thumbs up uh please subscribe down below but uh thank you for watching i will put in the i'll put in the snorkel tutorial uh in the seconds of the video in the description so go ahead like the description and i'll see you later Mom!